Members of the European Parliament don't sit according to their nationalities. Instead, most of them sit in political groups made up of members of national parties that hold similar views. There are well over a hundred different parties, but currently only seven political groups. By acting together, they can influence policy more effectively. They sit, physically as well as philosophically, from left to right in the chamber, with some members not attached to any group. Groups must comprise at least 25 members from a quarter of the member states, which currently means not less than seven countries. They're likely to hold similar ideologies, although this is not a strict requirement, and their political views may well differ over points of detail. Each group appoints a chair or co-chairs, plus a bureau and a secretariat. They scrutinize reports from parliament committees and table amendments, agreeing a group position. No member can be forced to vote in a particular way, but according to voting records, in 90% of cases, they follow their group's line. There are advantages to being part of a political group. More office space, more staff, and more money with which to organize meetings and distribute information. Leaders of the groups meet regularly as the Conference of Presidents, where they set the agenda for plenary sessions and allocate speaking time for debates. Members of groups also get to chair committees and delegations, helping their political views to prevail.